Hey guys, welcome to Golf Ball Attic. I got another review here for you today. It's another rangefinder actually. Today I have the Peak Pulse Golf Rangefinder. Okay, so coming out of the gate, I want to go ahead and tell you. So the price I paid on this one was pretty crazy. I actually found one of the cheapest ones I could on Amazon, and I actually ended up only paying $72 for it. So that's extremely inexpensive for a golf rangefinder, and it comes with most of the stuff that a regular rangefinder would. It comes with a nice carrying case, it comes with a cleaning cloth, and it even has a slope feature on it. So that's huge for the price. Um, I've actually recently reviewed a Bushnell model, the V5 and that one was $300. So this one actually has a couple more features that that one didn't. So if this one does hold up and works just as well and is accurate, I, I, it's gonna be hard to justify spending you know, $300, $400 on a rangefinder. So as you can see from the box guys, um, it, it definitely looks like something that was made in China. Um, it's, it's got you know the markings on there. It's definitely not something you would see in the store. Um, you can tell that it's definitely a cheaper model. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up here and see what we're looking at. It has this case. The case does come with a clip on it. Um, the case is more of a mesh case. It's not something that feels premium like the Bushnells did. Um, it's not like a hard case or anything. It's just like a nice soft mesh case. It does do the job though. It feels fine. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up out of the case here. Um, yeah, the product itself as well, it, it feels like plastic. It feels kind of like a cast plastic. It definitely doesn't feel premium, um, but you know, it looks like a it looks like a rangefinder. It's got your basic two buttons. It goes between meters and yards. You have a different mode there for that, and then of course you have your button on top to gauge it and tell you what the what the distance is. Let's go ahead and I'm going to test it here and uh, see what it does as far as distance. All right, so it definitely doesn't feel as premium as the Bushnell did. It's not as bright and vivid when you look through there. It's a little darker. Um, it's still able to be seen, but it's definitely not as bright and vivid as that, that more expensive model was, uh, and for good reason. But honestly, I don't have any issue looking through it. I can see my target just fine. When I aim at the flag, it does give me a notification there with a little flag beeping that it found it, and it even vibrates a little bit to let me know what the actual distance to it is. So it worked really well um, compared distance-wise. It works really well as far as comparing with other models. It seems accurate. Um, I didn't have any issues there. The slope is give or take. Sometimes the slope is accurate and sometimes it isn't. Um, you know, sometimes I find myself being quite a ways up from my target and it only says it's a two yard difference, which obviously isn't true because you, I mean, you're talking 10, 15 yard difference at that point. So yeah, I mean, overall guys, what I would say with this one is it gets the job done. And for the price I got it for, you can't beat that. $70 to get a laser golf range finder that is very accurate on the laser. Maybe not accurate on the slow, but I mean, for $70, what do you expect? I mean, I, I didn't expect it to be 100% perfect. So if you do need it to be really, really accurate with that slope, maybe buy one that's more in the $150, $200 range. But hey, if you're just a weekend golfer and you need an inexpensive one, that way you can tell where the flag's at. Guys, it'd be hard not to get this one, or I'll be honest with you, there's many on Amazon that are around that price. And they're all probably, you know, if you just base it off the customer reviews, um, you can probably find one that works pretty well for that, that range. So. Overall, I'm very impressed, guys. It's not premium. It's not supposed to be premium. It doesn't cost premium. It actually costs very inexpensive. So um, I'm very impressed. This is the one I'm going to be continuing to use for a while until I find a new one. But yeah, overall, guys, better than expected. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. And as always, keep watching to keep saving. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do, guys. It helps me so much. And not only that, I got more content coming your way.